Welcome to Herbal Library District's Mystery Crafts for Spring 2022, Week 4. Our final mystery craft for Spring 2022 is our birdhouse decor that Miranda has created for us. All the supplies you need are in your kit, and we'll show you that list here in a minute to get started. In your kit to make this craft, you should have a wood bird house, four big popsicle sticks, two small popsicle sticks, a candlestick holder, some white brown paint, foam brushes, moss, Mod Podge, a piece of cardboard to dry the things on, and two glue sticks. The first thing Miranda's going to do is use her Mod Podge and the foam brush to put a layer of Mod Podge on the candlestick holder. This is actually a trick Miranda taught us to get acrylic paint to stick to a glass thing is to put a layer of Mod Podge on first, let it dry, and then you can paint it over with your acrylic paint and it'll stick better. Now Miranda's going to grab the long popsicle sticks and the short popsicle sticks, lay those popsicle sticks long ways side by side, all next to each other, and use the little ones and some hot glue to glue them in place by laying them perpendicular and gluing them right to the back of those popsicle sticks. You can set the popsicle stick plank we've created off to the side and grab your birdhouse and paint it white. Miranda's going to use two coats of the white paint here, uh, but you can do as you like. As promised, here's Miranda coming in for a second coat of white paint on her birdhouse, and we'll just speed right through this to our next step. Now we can set the birdhouse aside to dry again, grab that popsicle stick plank, and paint it white on both sides. It's not super necessary that you paint the bottom, but Miranda suggests that you do for a more finished look. By now, your Mod Podge on the candlestick holder is probably dry, and you can give that a coat of white paint, too. Miranda also said that putting the Mod Podge on first adds a little bit of texture when you add your white paint on top, and that that's okay. This project is going to end up looking sort of distressed, so that texture from the Mod Podge just adds to that technique. When everything's painted, you'll want to set it aside to dry completely. Once everything is dry, you can begin the assembly process. So grab the hot glue, and you're going to press a line of hot glue around the rim of the candlestick holder, and center the popsicle stick plank on top with the connector bits underneath. Press that down so that it's secure, and you're ready to add the birdhouse on top, which you can take a moment to line up and center, eyeball it to where you like it. Slide some hot glue on the bottom of that, Miranda's going to struggle it a little bit here with a glue stick and uh, put some glue on the bottom of that birdhouse. Slide it into place, press down, and your whole decor item should be attached now. We're ready to dress up our birdhouse just a little more and Miranda's going to take some of that brown paint and just with her finger and just a little bit. You can see she's wiping off most of the paint on the lid there and just leaving a little bit on her finger. And then she's kind of streaking it all around her project. Just a little bit of paint and rubbing it in and around and it creates a fun distressed look. Adds a little bit of embellishment to your birdhouse. After your brown paint embellishments have dried completely, you can begin pulling out sections of your moss and hot gluing it around the base of your birdhouse on top of that popsicle stick plank. You can grab just little bundles at a time. Be very careful to hot glue these down. The hot glue may have a tendency to seep through and get your fingers. So be careful with that and decorate with as much or as little moss as you like.
And there you have it, Miranda's lovely spring birdhouse decor. And that wraps up our spring 2022 crafts for this season. Never fear, we are already putting together our summer crafts, so stay tuned to know when those are going to be available. And feel free to journey back through any of the videos we filmed so far that you may have missed and do those crafts. Always check in with us to see if we have leftover craft bags available that you can take home and catch up on. And like and subscribe so that we know you're enjoying these videos. We'd love to see pictures of your finished projects at facebook.com slash Library, And you can check out all of our other cool videos we have here on YouTube. We've got some podcasts and some crochet videos, all sorts of fun things happening here. Stay tuned for our summer lineup yet to come. And we wish you a very happy spring. <laughs>